suburb outside of Chicago. Um, it is a Friday morning and we got the first day of Intelligentsia today. Um, it's a fairly technical crit. I'll show y'all the course later. Um, I have my GoPro. Looks like it's supposed to rain and it's an uphill finish. So that should be good fun. Um, just eating breakfast right now and then we're about to put the tour on the TV. So yeah, just stay tuned for the rest of the day. All right, so I just watched uh, NorCal Cycling's video on the West Dundee course from 2019. Um, he said it was the hardest course of the year, and it was it was stage six for them, but for us it's stage one. Uh, so that should be spicy. Um, should be good and hard. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're about to prep the bikes and just relax, chill, till we're uh, ready to start racing. Also got a little tip for y'all, those of you who ride in the rain on accident and on purpose. Um, we got stuck in the rain yesterday on our pre-ride, and my shoes are soaked. So I got this little smaller towel and I'll stuff it in the shoes. I already let it air dry and I took the insoles out. Always take the insoles out. Um, but I'll stuff the towel into the, the shoes and just leave it in there for like, normally I leave it in there for like a day, but I race later today. So I'm gonna leave it in for a couple hours and that should like let the water soak into the towel and out of the shoe and that should dry it out a good bit so that my feet aren't soaked right on the start line. Skipping ahead a little bit, uh, me and CJ are about to head to the race. Uh, we were just chilling, eating the second breakfast, packing the nice car. Nice cock! <laughs> packing the car. And um, yeah, we're just about to leave the host house and uh, head to the race, check out the course, and get warmed up. Go one more time with a $50 dream. 50 bucks, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Pre-race, river siding, nice views, no rain. And Torchy's coming up, second wheel, climb, trying to climb on the outside, Welling putting down the heavy metal, Welling is going to go to the top step of our West Dundee podium. Austin Edgar rolling in for second. saw that GoPro footage, you know what happened. Me and CJ, neither of us finished. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we both flatted. And then I dropped my chain. Just not the velocious day. Um, but one of the eat CJ's friends won, so that was cool. Um, yeah, we're about to head out, go back to the road. That's his arm. Jesus Don't... <laughs> Christ, that's banana. All 
catch y'all a quick vlog update. I got the OOTD, the Velocious merch, Nike, dang, Nike shorts, Nike shoes, got the father hat. Uh, I'm about to go put some brake pads on. I'm about to go put some brake pads on on my bike uh, to switch the wheels after I flatted yesterday. And then we're gonna uh, go get to it. Stay tuned for that. Race is over. Um, CJ did pretty good. I think he got top 10. It was a really fast course, really fun course, pretty technical. Um, well, not super technical, but it had a lot of turns. Um, yeah, good fun. I think I was maybe the last finisher. I got dropped like four laps to go and just didn't really get lapped because it was such a long course. Um, but yeah, good fun. We're about to go down here, me and my boy CJ, and uh, watch the women's races. Yeah, just keep the day pushing. Let's go! Yo, what up guys? We're at the race now. Uh, me and CJ about to get changed, warm up, you know the drill. Neck every day for the next whatever, however many days. Uh, hopefully today will go better. Should feel better. Uh, we'll see. All right, race is over. CJ was in the breakaway. Um, rode pretty hard. Yep. Fourth place. I think I got top 10. We we're just trying to make sure no one caught the break, although they were motoring so hard that we didn't really have to try very hard. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of just sat in and everyone tried to catch them and they couldn't. Uh, pretty fast race. I think we did 26.8. I think they did 28, 27 because they were off at the front. 
Um, yeah, we're just gonna get something to eat and just keep the day pushing. To day four, uh, I think we're going to Mundelein today. Mundelein. Uh, I apologize. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, we got an hour crit uh, tattoo race. Yeah, just stay tuned for the rest of the day. Uh, we're just on the way there. It's like an hour some drive. So I got CJ on the ox right now, and I'm gonna put on some uh, some some hood rat music to get to get hype. The Beatles is is good. Shut up. is over um, I lasted about 15 minutes and then got popped pretty hard um, I don't even I don't even know what to say bro I haven't been dropped like that in a while Ooh, CJ's still in there so I'm, I'm just riding around course watching him uh, hopefully he gets something out of this that would be good fun let's go boys One lap to go. Let's go. Torchies. Ethan Welling will grab the second step of our podium. And Jonathan Hanahan out of St. Louis, also riding for Cannonball Hub Racing, will be on the third step. Second 
Alright y'all, back at the uh, host house, chilling. CJ's in the shower right now. I'm gonna get in after he's done, and then we're probably gonna like eat and just watch a movie or whatever. And just keep the legs up until tomorrow. Uh, we got two more races left, uh, so I'm just gonna try to recover as much as possible so we can go at them with all we got. Alright y'all, so I decided I'm just gonna put all this video into one. Um, yeah, the last couple days haven't been great bike racing, but they've still been fun. Uh, good experience, um, some good race fitness gains. Uh, we stayed in today, but um, I dropped my chain right before a big crash. So that was not good, but good um, that I didn't crash. Uh, but yeah, me and CJ are on the way home now. Um, yeah, just appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.